and welcome back to the Friday Night Frights. I'm Rip Rotney, your host, and tonight our tale involves a mad doctor who's going around abducting young women and killing them, but he's not going to get away with. We have a feisty detective and a Mexican wrestler who's on his trail out to stop him. In the tale entitled, Mad Doctor Takes Tampa. Ah, yes, a wonderful throwback to the Mexican wrestlers versus monster of the 60s, 70s era. And um, since we're talking about mad doctors tonight, uh, we do have a mad scientist in the house of our own, a Dr. Quackula. And I'd like to introduce him to you to show another wonderful experiment of his. Dr. Quackula, everyone, please Hi. welcome. Thank you, Rip. Good to be back here on the Friday Night Frights. Well, it's always good to have you back, Doc. Uh, so, uh, what invention do you have for us this week? Oh, yes. My quack visor. This is my latest invention. When worn by regular glasses and then turned on, one can see 20 million miles away as if it was right in front of you. Really? Well, that's astonishing and incredible. Can we try it out, Doc? Well, these are my prototypes. So let me try an experiment for you now. I'm going to put on the glasses and look at the planet Mars and search for aliens. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not in Kansas anymore. What do you see, Doc? What do you see? Uh, I see a huge alien race that is hideous in form and frightening in height. Oh, I don't know if you should look at aliens, Doc. They're like peekers. Oh, uh, it's perfectly safe, right? We're millions of miles away, and they can't even see me. Oh, oh no, uh, I know they got great vision. And great speed, too. Uh, there will be glasses to prove it, Doc. No! Oh, Doc! Oh, oh dear. Oh, well. One of his experiments is going to kill him one day. I always tell him that. Oh, well. Enjoy your tale, everyone. <laughs>
It will be useless to scream, my dear. There is no one that can hear, much less help you right now. You are my little prisoner. <laughs> Ah, yes, pardon my manners, but my name is Dr. Devlin, one of the world's most gifted scientists. <laughs> what do you want from me? Why are you doing this? What are you wanting from me? Please let me go. Please, I promise I won't tell any one of you. I'm afraid that is out of the question. I have other plans for you, my dear. But first, I want the safe combination of your boss, Reginald Hall, of Brimstone Corporations. You are his private secretary. You shall give it to me. You shall tell me, and I assure you, no harm will come to you. Fine, all right. L two three R four zero seven L two six. Are you happy now? Thank you for your cooperation, Miss May. The doctor surely appreciates it. What's wrong, dear? You look very pale. As a matter of fact, I have a special treat for you. To aid you for some skin color, I create a tanning bed out of a coffin. I would be most honored if you would try it out for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss May. No! There you go, Miss May. Now just relax and let your doctor do the rest. Once this is over, you won't recognize yourself. <laughs> there we are. Now just relax, my dear. And this will be finished in just a moment. Well, I think that's about right. Hey. Oh dear, looks like you got too much sun, Miss May. I'm afraid your boss isn't going to be able to afford to get a new secretary for some time after I've cleared him out. <laughs> nice doing business with you, Miss May. <laughs> Boss wants you to check out the latest homicide from last night in Tarpon Hills. You're gonna like this. She looks just like your type, Bill. What's this? Oh dear lord. Another lost poor soul. Any idea who did her in? Yes. And this time the killer left the note tied to the corpse. Render the city. To Dr. Devlin or all. all shall be fried for the defiance. My god, Devlin. Isn't that that crazy? A scientist that made that spazzo steroid drug that killed several athletes? Yep, same exact guy. And he was thrown out of his institute for all of his nutty inventions. So what's this, payback? I don't know, possible. I need to know more about this Dr. Devlin. I hear he gave this drug to several wrestlers, and one in particular named the Blue Leader. I'm going to have to find him. Tell the boss I'm on it.
you bring me here? Why am I chained up? Ah, uh, yes, questions, questions. But first, I want you to answer my question. What do you want? Miss Petty, you are the private secretary of Clark's Industries, are you not? What are you getting at? Well, it so happens that your boss, Mr. Stuart Clark, the owner of the company, he keeps a big safe hidden in his office. I can find it, but I need the safe codes. Miss Patty? I, I don't remember. That is a lie, Miss Patty. Please tell me the code, and I promise I will set you free. Really, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. No, Miss Patty, I am sorry for you. You see, I have my methods of obtaining my information. You shall tell me the codes, or I shall drop you into a pool of boiling acid. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the combination. I'll tell you. It's, it's 900528J3TS. I hope those are the correct codes, my dear. Yes, of course they are. Now will you please let me go? I promise I won't tell anybody about you. I know you won't, my dear. I know. My, you've got yourself pretty dirty since your visit here, Miss May. Perhaps a quick dip will give you a fresh cleanse. No! No, 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 no! No! Please don't! Please don't! No! No! Welcome back to the Rip and Bone Movie Reviews. I'm Rip Rotney, and this is Barry Bones. And tonight's movie that we're reviewing is King Kong Escapes. Hey, another one from Toho Studios. Let me tell you, this one's a good one. I mean, a mad doctor named Doctor Who attempts to make a robot. Hey, to go for Hello. later. Can I help you? Uh, my name is Detective Blake. I need to talk to you about some information that I need. Sure, come on in. I was wondering if you could give me some information about this murderer I'm trying to track. I don't understand. Uh, take a look at these pictures. These are the victims of some mad scientist who made a failed steroid drug which apparently you took and it almost killed you. Devlin? Devlin? Oh no, I thought he was rotting in prison. Well, I guess he killed two gods with poison gas and escaped, and now he's running around my city killing my girls. I don't know what you want from me. I just want you to give me some information that you might know where he's hiding. Your guess is as good as mine, Detective. That maniac could be anywhere. And any place, you wouldn't think he would be. A steroid drug, what did it do to you? It quickly enhanced my body and strength to the point where I had the power of 20 men. It was an incredible rush, but the withdrawals were almost lethal. I was in a hospital and plugged in with every drop of insulin 
they could put in my body to try and push out this poison. Apparently, the others weren't so lucky. Well, I guess I'll continue my search for the doctor. Detective, I would like to help you in any way possible to stop that madman. Knowing he's back and killing innocent women, I have to do what I can to stop him. Well, maybe we can work together. Do you have any idea where to start? I know his old hangout. Maybe we'll find a clue. I hope so, because I fear he's going to be preying on the city again. Let's go. Something about the young lady that she lacks that makes me very disinterested in her. Well, what don't you like about her, bro? What, because she's hot, got a hot body, and she's sexy and pretty? Most amusing. But for the truth of the matter, the young lady lacks a brain. A brain that I could use for my experiment. Well, what, dear? Prefer guys? Yes, the male brain is what I'm looking for. And the young lady cannot help me. But you, my friend, yes, you can. And I thank you personally for your donation this evening to my experience. <laughs> Thank you for your donation this evening. <laughs> Do what I say. 
you shall do what I say. Do you understand? Good. Good. Now, I want you to dance for me, my dear. I want you to dance for your master. Dance and remove your clothing in the process. Dance for me. Come in. Car 48 here. What's up? Please report to 1604 Swan Road. Parent suicide with a streetwalker. Okay. I'm on my way. Well, Blue, I got a weird hunch. This ain't no suicide. I'm beginning to get a weird feeling about it myself. We can only pray it's not deviling at work. Please. Lieutenant Blake, Detective Homicide. This here is Blue Leader. He's with me on the case. Show me the body. Yes, sir. Thanks for ruining my appetite for lunch. Jeez, what a mess. Poor girl. I hope she didn't suffer long. Detective Blake. This was just delivered for you. What is this? Let me see that. It's a miniature recording device. It has a message. Good evening, Detective Blake. My name is Dr. Devlin. I am the one that has killed all these innocent girls, including this one that lies before your feet. I know that I shall take this city, and that you shall surrender to me and my demands. I understand that you are the lead investigator of this case, the pursuit of the murderer, Dr. Devlin. Well, I just want to say that you and your department of fool do not have a chance against me. I am smarter than you, faster than you are, and stronger than your entire force. But even with all the odds against you, detective, I have decided to make an example that you cannot stop me in my next devious plot. I will give you the name of the next victim, and you may prepare all you wish. But nevertheless, I, Dr. Devlin, will take her, and I will kill her. And you will have failed to your department. You will have failed to your city. And once again, I will have proven that I am the master. And many more girls will die if you do not comply with my demands. You shall pay me one hundred million dollars in a safe deposit box of my choosing. And you will learn that you need to listen and obey you, or my next victim will be... Yes, Julie Wonders, 
of Lake Park. A juicy little number that would make a lovely target. She'll be mine by midnight, detective. And you have been warned. Sick bastard devil. We gotta go to the apartment as purely one number. I'll call up for backup. Let's go. call you guys for an emergency? Uh, apparently an emergency call has been called out on you. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Tickta Blake. This here is Blue Leader and he's helped me on this case. But what does this have to do with me? Apparently we have a madman running around the city killing younger girls. And just about 30 minutes ago we got a recording telling us who his next victim was. Who? Me? Why would anyone want to kill me? I didn't do anything. It's not you, miss. He's just a maniac. I will stop him in his reign of terror for good. I have two men patrolling upstairs, two men outside the house. Me and Blue Leader are going to guide you. I can't believe this is happening to me. This is a freaking nightmare. Well, I'll make sure this has a happy ending for you, miss. And, Miss Wonders, avoid all the windows, avoid any house calls or phone calls. We'll take care of that, okay? Blue Leader, what time is it? It's 11.15, 45 minutes to target time. I need a drink. I need lots of drinks. <laughs> to calm her down. She was starting to be an annoying trunk. I'm gonna go check around myself, detective. Be careful. God, girl. Good stuff. Hey, Ross. Anything going on out there? Ross, are you there? Russell, have you seen R Ross? Russell, Russell, are you there? I can't seem to get either one of them. snag a tracer onto the back of the abductor so we can follow him in your car and he will lead us right to the lair of Dr. Devlin. Excellent. Quick. We don't have much time. We gotta go save Miss Wonders.
It's always the same questions. We're going to have to work on that. But alas, my dear, I have no time to answer any for you now. Because I want you to look at this. Yes, my dear, look into the pretty bright light. Look deep, deep into the light. And listen to the sound of my voice. You shall listen to the sound of my voice, my dear. And you shall do what I say. You shall do what I say. <laughs> to see you again, but I'm afraid it's on totally different circumstances, and it would not be a most enjoyable reunion for you. As I see, you have met my bodyguard, Gronk. Yes, he was my latest experiment, who was injected with a higher upgrade of my steroid enhancer, a lot more powerful than a dose that you once took that back then that almost killed you. But to my pal Gronk here, it's just dandy like candy. Your super freak is not gonna help you get away with your sinister plans, Devlin. You're coming in with us! No, but not without a fight, Blue Leader. Gronk, destroy Blue Leader. Destroy him now!
squeeze at your skull and splatter it on the floor. surviving this. I'm going to have every inch of this place looked over until I find a body. I hope you do. Devlin is unpredictable. There's a chance he could have survived. And that is the only concern I have to fear. Oh my god, if this freak is still alive, I'm going to come live with you guys. I can't be alone with this madman after me. I'm sure we can arrange something. And as for you, Blue Leader, Thank you very much for saving the life of this girl and also my own. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Anytime you need assistance, my friend, I'll be there for you. Don't hesitate to call. Justice is what I'm all about, and Blue Leader will be there for you. Thank you, my friend. Ah! 